Hello, Edgar. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you, man? I'm very well. What about you? I'm fine. Everything cool. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Nice. Susanna, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm okay. What about you? I'm good. Thank you. How was your day today? Uh, pretty busy, but was everything okay? What did you do? I had to take to my uh to my daughter to kickboxes classes after work and then some shopping, a lot of things. You take your daughter to kickbox kickboxing? Yeah. Oh that's cool. Yes. How old is she? She's 12. She's 12. How good is she? Um, she just started like um, a month ago or something like that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Can she kick somebody's butt? Yeah, <laughs> she's very strong. So when she uh, when she punch people, they're like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. All right, awesome. Hello, Reina, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? How are you? Uh, bye. Excuse me? <laughs> Okay, I anyway. think you, okay, good. And we have it. And Edgar, how was your Edgar, how was your father? Uh thank you for asking, teacher. My father is getting getting better. Today we went to bring him to to the hospital. Okay. So yeah, he's back he's, he's been, he is back home. He's back to home, yes. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you very much. Okay. Is he happier? Excuse me? Is he happy? Eh, just a little because uh, he's suffering a lot of pains and he can't eat right now. He can just drink like beverage or some like smoothies or 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 soup okay okay but is he taking medicine that medicine is strong right yeah I, yeah he's taking medicine as well yeah. okay Okay, good. Well, I'm happy he's better. Thank you, teacher. Hello, Cecilia de Los Angeles. How are you? Sorry. Hi, teacher. Nice. And you? I'm good. How was your day? Um, very busy, but it's okay. No, what's okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what do you do? I forget, you're a teacher, correct? No, I am an assistant. Oh, yes, I but you're, vir you're a virtual assistant, yes. yes. And the company you work for is from El Salvador or United States? No, from El Salvador. You know, that's so good. I, I think that's a very good idea to have virtual assistants in El Salvador because that's one way to reduce traffic. Yes. Especially, especially back office. Exactly. Do you understand, class? Do you know what back office is? No, I don't. Okay. I think your back office, Susana. Irma, how, how, okay, look, back office. Back office is everything 
you don't see in an office. Let me give you an example. So if you, okay, when you go to Claro, ¿Quién si no puede estar en casa de Claro? The cashier? La cajera? Correct? Um, ¿Quién más? Maybe el front desk. Do you know what front desk is? Yes. When you go and that person that tells you, hola, ¿qué necesita? Sí, quiero atención al cliente. Tome, vaya allá, vaya allá. Like that's front desk. Right. Okay, that's good. Us. So uh, that's an office. Back office is everything that you can actually do from home, that you don't need to be in the office. Okay. For example, Accountability, el contador. Pero aquí el contador nunca se ve en la empresa. <laughs> el contador, he's always in his office. So you don't, you, so an accountant, he can actually work from home. So back office is when you do a job that you normally do in an office that is not necessary for you to be present. Hmm, okay. For Thank example, you. a doctor cannot do back office because a doctor's job is physical, but his secretary, uh -huh. his secretary can do back office because all she has to do is call, take appointments, cancel payments, et cetera, et cetera. So that is back office. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Irma, how was your second day of training? Oh, it was great. <laughs> yeah, really, uh, really happy because uh, it's a wonderful place. I I think that everything will be okay in my new job. I hope to pass the training. <laughs> and do you know, do you know, what the exam is going to be about, or there's not going to be an exam. You're just going to go to uh, nesting. Um, the exam will be about the product, but the product uh, we will uh, start the next week and nesting in two weeks more, the nesting. And after uh, we will know if we passed the training. Okay. Well, I hope but, the best for you. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, really nervous sometimes. I want to. I want to do it fine. <laughs> you will. You will. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, awesome. Okay, class. So yeah, yesterday we practiced. What do you remember what we did yesterday? Active, active boy. Active and passive voice, right? Is active and passive voice important? different ways to to say something good so that's a tricky question is it important depends yes depends because it, it, the only difference is who you want to give importance to that's the only difference between active and passive Y supuestamente las estadísticas, el 75, 80% cuando nosotros hablamos, siempre hablamos de voz activa. Siempre usamos el sujeto primero. But it's important to speak passive too, so you can understand more. Okay, so, oh, oops. Let me see.
Let me open the portal. Okay, do you see my my screen? Yes, I can do it. Okay, in this class you will learn three word three word phrasal verbs in order to increase your vocabulary and help you talk about service and dating. Hmm, interesting. So let's see what this is about. But empezar, what is a phrasal verb? Uh I think that are words that together can give me a meaning. Yes. I'm going to tell you one thing. Okay. Don't worry about phrasal verbs because they're very difficult. You know why? They're not difficult, but they are they are very, very propios del idioma inglés. So sometimes that, their expressions. All right. They are expressions that really, sometimes they don't exist in Spanish. Let me think of one in Spanish. Al más no haber. Al más no haber. <laughs> yes, it's actually correct. But really, can you say that in English? No. In English. To I more know. there is not or something. I, I, it's, so phrasal verb is this. What is called? What is call? Llamar, right? Mm -hmm. What is off? Apagar. Apagar. Mm -hmm. What is call off? Colgar la llamada. Colgar la llamada o dejar. Dejar la llamada, algo así. Sí, eso realmente cualquiera pensará igual, pero saben que call off es cancelar. Oh, pero wey, oh. uh, pero wey, entonces, por eso es que es difícil el, el, los phrase offers, porque es un verbo y una preposición. Lo que ustedes hicieron ahorita fue muy bueno porque asum asumieron, ok, si call es llamar y offers a pagar, entonces llamar y apagar debe ser colgar. Yes, y no, no es colgar, <risa> es cancel. Example, uh, the wedding got called off. She called off the wedding. Why? Because she discovered that he had another, another woman. So imagine the woman called off the wedding because she discovered infidelity. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Yeah, but I used to call off. You used to put call off, kiss, call off. Mm. O sea, miren, en pocas palabras, ¿saben? para mí, yo lo así se lo describiría. Phrasal verbs es un caliche formal. Es un caliche formal, porque caliche informal es como. Vaya, por ejemplo, eso que yo les dije, al más no haber, quizá no. ¿Cuál, cuál es un caliche que, que puede ser formal? Pero uno informal sería, ella al suave. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Yeah, en inglés sería, take it easy. 
Entonces, ese es el problema de los verbos fraseales. Los verbos fraseales es cuando ustedes vean un verbo y una preposición. Tengan cuidado y relacionar los dos, porque eso es lo que van a hacer. Y a veces no es nada que ver con lo. Le voy a dar otra. Hay muchas. Uh, call off. Um, Pero aquí vamos a ver algunos. Entonces, so what I recommend to you, if you want to study phrasal verbs, go to Google and study popular phrasal verbs, los más usados. Por ejemplo, ¿qué es take? Tomar. Tomar. Sí, tomar, 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 tomar de agarrar. Mm -hmm. okay. ¿Y qué es off? Apagar. ¿Qué sería mm -hmm. take off? Uh, ¿Ah? Como quitarse. Quitar. Ah, sí. quitar sí, bueno, sí, ahí se atinaron, ah. pero sí es quitar. Uh -huh. Pero, pero quitar de despegar o quitar. Uh -huh. De close. Pues, ah, quitarse la ropa o también el, el avión take off yes. so despegar let's despegar mm -hmm. es lo mismo take off. take off so when you go to the airport it says hey what time what time do you take off so let's listen to the video hi as you know and recall we use phrasal verbs a lot in english This time we'll show you a list of three words, phrasal verbs, that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do. Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Take some time to make sense of them. Stay at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, Keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Be excited for something to happen. End a romantic relationship. Keep pace with someone or something. Tolerate something you don't like. Reduce the quantity of something. Have a good relationship with someone. Be responsible for something. Think of something. Develop an idea. Can you choose three phrasal verbs from the list and come up with your own examples? Don't forget to type them on our discussion box. He should get a tutor. I have a friend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my ass of them. I say at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Okay, I'm sorry. So here are three word phrasal verbs. So once again, a phrasal verb is a verb and a preposition. For example, break up with. Do you know what break up is? End a relationship. You end a relationship. Good. Let me see. Everybody's married? No. Oh, yeah, Irma, you're not married. Do you have a boyfriend, Irma? No. <laughs> okay. No. I don't have time for that. You don't have time for that. Okay. Uh, Susana, are you married? 
think we lost Susanna. Joanna, you're married, correct? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, there's Susanna. Mary. I will ask Susanna first. Susanna, are you married? No, I'm not. Okay. So I will ask Susanna this question because I don't want to get anybody in trouble, just in case your husband or your wife is listening and they might be toxic. <laughs> All right. No, because imagine, I, my question is, <laughs> do you remember why you broke up with your first boyfriend? Mm. So, so, no, I don't. <laughs> but it, it can be something very like, oh yeah, because... I was I was 13 and and he kissed my best friend or something right don't don't tell me something something very personal just your first boyfriend I'm not talking about your mm -hmm. ex boyfriend I think your first boyfriend or your first girlfriend mm -hmm. Jesus <laughs> um I never think about it so or invent. I broke up with him because uh, I broke up with him because he was really boring. <laughs> okay, good. Because he was boring. Okay. All right, good. I broke up with my first girlfriend because one day I saw her in the mall with another boy. But that boy was her brother. Oh my God, really? <laughs> yes. And I was I was 13 or 12 or 13 years old. So I was a little stupid, immature boy. <laughs> Imaduro. <laughs> So I called so you her. Didn't ask. No, I never <laughs> asked. I called her. I'm going Did to break assume? up with you. I saw you with another boy. Blah blah blah. Wow. Well. <laughs> hey, but I was 13. <laughs> At least you remember. I don't even remember who it was. <laughs> no, I, I remember because we're friends now. <laughs> we're Are always friends. Cool. Yeah, because look, I'm 45. I was reading somewhere that the majority of people that use Facebook is the X generation. Mm -hmm. We are Generation X. And why do we use Facebook? If you notice, children today, los, the, the new generation, they don't have Facebook. They use Instagram or TikTok. Chick chat, talk, talk, whatever. But my generation, we use Facebook. Why? Because, hey, como se llamaba cuando, donde yo vivía antes? Ah, Eric Hernandez. Let me see, a ver si lo hallo. You, you want to find all your ex friends. <laughs> and then you, that's how I found my, my ex girlfriend, my first, first girlfriend. You know, I remember. Um, because she was from the Philippines, her name is Andromia. So um, the the name was not very difficult to. Y la encontré. Wow, is that her? So I sent her a message. Hi, do you remember me? We were we were together in the sixth grade. Oh my God, David, I remember you, my first boyfriend. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> And yes, and we talk on the phone, on, on video. How are you? You know, she has her family. Look, these are my children. Oh, hi, look, I have one baby. And it's, it's beautiful. It's a very, you know, it's nice to find your ex-friends. So maybe she was not my girlfriend. She was like really my friend, friend. But, you know, I don't remember if we kissed. <laughs> but, um, so it's like a platonic thing. Yeah, we were... Puppy love. <laughs> so I broke, siempre me lo saca. <laughs> I broke up with my ex girlfriend because I saw her with another man. Really? Yes, but it was her brother. Oh, no. Why you didn't ask her? 
because I was 13. Oh. <laughs> Do you know the mentality of a little boy who is 13? Oh, man. Yeah. We are the worst people. Bueno, llegamos a los 30 and we still have a mentality of 13. <laughs> Okay, so you understand break up with, right? Yes. But listen, break up is romper una relación only. No voy a confundir a breakup. Oh my God, the tree in my house broke up. No. Breakup is a relation. Okay. okay. Por eso esa canción, Unbreak My Heart, Say You Love Me Again. That's a good song, remember? Yes, I know that song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next is, what do you think is come up with? To get an idea? Yes, to get an idea. Have you ever asked somebody, how did you come up with that idea? Remember I told you about the sandwich? Oh. Yes. So you asked yes. you asked the sandwich, hey, you invented the sandwich? Oh, yes, yes. How did you come up with that idea? Good example. Mm-hmm. He says, oh, because one day I was in my, you know, that that's that's the expression. How did you come up with that idea? Okay. All right. It can be something good or it can be something bad. For example, remember Los Ninis, the Sanchez Seren? The what? Ninis, ni estudian ni trabajan. Yes, Ninis. He was paying the, the children who didn't study, a, a los mareros. Uh, the ninis. Ajá, le decía, supuestamente lo, le daba un salario a los muchachos que no estudiaban, a los vagos. And really, I, how did you come up with that idea? But my question is sarcastic. <laughs> Be he wasn't smoking. <laughs> yeah. Well, how did you come up with that stupid idea? Yeah. Si ustedes ven ejemplos, no sé si ustedes ven the shark tank. Ah, uh, sometimes I have watched. Once in a while. Yeah. How did you come up with that idea? How did you come up with that? Remember that song? Uh, Saying that I love you is not, not the word. So. <laughs> Do you know the guitar? Dun, 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 dun. The gu yeah. it's because when you hear the guitar, it's like, hey, say I'm a riff. Mm -hmm. So people always ask him, how did you come up with that riff? And he said, in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and people say, That's what? Funny. Yes, people take a book to the bathroom. I take my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that really, that was his answer. So I... imagine, so he was in the bathroom and dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. So imagine that romantic song is about he invented it in the bathroom. Oh no. Oh my god. But really, you know that's not a romantic song. Y, y mi, mi, milagro la generación X. No, la generación cristal no ha querido boicotear esa canción. <laughs> because yes because that song 
he's actually telling the woman he wants more than words. So he wants to have <laughs> relations with the woman. To sh you know, if you analyze, yeah, o sea, en este día, hoy en día, he's telling the woman, show me with more than words. Like, oh, if you love me, have sex with me, pretty much. Interesting. Yeah, pay attention to the lyrics. Put attention to the lyrics. <laughs> no, you don't say put, you say pay attention. All right, pay attention. Pay attention, yes. Yeah, li listen to the lyrics. It says, saying that I love you is not the words I want to hear from you. So I believe you, but it's more than words to show me how you feel. So it's like being, a, being a stalker, man. <laughs> It's so a chicas, song. a little bit creepy. <laughs> yeah. So if somebody dedicates that song to you, think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Me están reclamando, voy a decir. <laughs> Quieren acción. Ajá. O sea, o sea que vos querés que te den. You know what? I'm going to. Oh. Y después le voy a hacer una pregunta. Hey, why did you break up with your boyfriend? Oh, because he dedicated that song to me. <laughs> Because he dedicated more than words to me. Okay. Next, we have looking forward to. Do you know what is looking forward to? Mm, no. When we are waiting something. Okay, this like, is some... like, a, like a good news or any result. Yes, but I, okay, like let me see. Um, it's, it's, it's when you're waiting for something, but with anxiety, like, no me aguanto. I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And what do I add to it? Can you give me another example? Sure, uh, yes. I, I, I will give you an example right now. This is used very much, Susan. This is used very much in emails, in chats, in formal conversation. Example, Susan, imagine you are you are <laughs> applying, aplicó para un trabajo, right? Mm -hmm. And there are there are three interviews. So I am All number right. I am number one, and I said, "Okay, Susan, I I think you did very good. I will set a meeting for you with the manager for next week. Is that okay mm -hmm. with you?" And you say, "Oh yes, I'm looking forward to it." Oh okay. Yes. Yes. Now I understand. I remember Irma when we started the class that you were working in La Uca. Yeah. You were very excited about the training. Hey, yes. And, hey. Oh, so in that case, me podía decir Irma, for example, I'm looking forward to the end of the month or the beginning of next month. Why? Oh, because I will start training in a new job. Oh, really? So yeah, so I'm looking forward to is like no me aguanto por. Yes. So when they send you an email or or like um when you receive an email, thank you. We will contact you tomorrow. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Do you understand? If, if it can apply if I want to see someone. Uh, for example, if I want to, to see my boyfriend, if I have. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let me give you an example. I'm looking forward to, to more Google News in El Salvador. Oh, okay. 
Uh, be, uh, why? Because I am interested. I am very interested in that, but there's no information. Entonces, I am looking forward to more information. I'm looking forward to have more information about Google. Yes. Uh, only with things you can relate. Uh, relate. No, with, with people. With uh, people. Your mother is going to come and visit you next month from, from Canada. You have not seen I'm your mother. Forward. You have not seen your mother in 10 years. So you're looking forward to seeing your mother. I'm looking forward to see you again. Yes. So looking forward to is something you're happy about. Right. An event you're happy or curious about in the future. All right, cool. Thank you. Ahora, ustedes saben quién fue este, ¿cómo se llama? Chele Mason. Who, sorry? Eh, Mason, eh, Gerardo Mason. No. No, who was? You don't watch politics, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. really. El asesor de Bukele, que está preso. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I didn't know that. Because I don't watch really. News. <laughs> I don't okay. watch news. <laughs> okay, so listen to this. Era el asesor de seguridad personal de Bukele, right? De, del Estado. Y le hackearon right. la cuenta a Funes. Y vieron que él tenía conversaciones con Mason. Que es el primo del, del alcalde que está preso. Y que le decía a Mason, mire, si va a ir a Panamá, no vaya. So, le estaba dando bastante información de Estado. Y le preguntaba, really? ya yeah, le preguntaba a Funes, y Bukele está en casa presencial, se acaba de ir hace una hora. He was giving a lot of information. Wow. So, Such a snitch. Oh, yeah. He's a, hey, look, sean simpatizantes o no del gobierno, whatever, pero lo que él hizo, he's a traitor. Yeah. He's a he's a stupid traitor. So he is arrested. And um, there is no news. Porque está todo en reserva. Do you think he is looking forward to his, his day in court? No. ¿Creen, creen que él está como contento anticipando cuando le toque corte? Cuando le toca, no. Entonces, ahí no puede decir, oh, Mason is looking forward to. Looking too. forward. <laughs> it's Maybe looking forward. it's looking forward to be free. <laughs> no, but he, no, I, I was, I was watching yesterday. I think that there is a rumor that he tried to kill himself. Wow. Which, in my opinion, maybe is the best option for him because he will never see, he will never see. No, fue bien heavy. Eh, vean, vean, ahí salió todas las la, la pláticas que tenía Funes con Lorena Peña, con todo esto, y, y le estaba pasando información. A, por eso es que Funes siempre estaba, salía todo. How did he come up with that idea? No, it wasn't really an idea. Oh, that's not correct because it, it was not an idea. This was actually a fact. Yes. Un hecho. Yeah. No, uh, what happened is somebody hacked. Somebody hacked Funes' cell phone. Maybe somebody in Nicaragua. I don't know. Nobody knows. But when they hacked his telephone, he's like, no, no, no. Uh, they hacked his Twitter account. And when they hacked his Twitter account, they started seeing all the um, conversations Funes had with everybody. Era lógico, you know, he had conversations with Lorena Peña. And this, but Alejandro Mason? And, you know, and there were, for many years, there was conversations 
Y Mason le decía, jefe, mire, jefe, <risa> so, estaba en la nómina de pago de Funes, right? So, so, no, but you know, I mean, I think, I think what he did is like, está a nivel de un marero o peor, en castigo. Mm. Because should be worse actually because he's a traitor. That's a traitor, yes. His, you know, yellow sabe. I mean, because remember a long time ago that Bukele he said, I promise that I will have Funes in, in no sé cuántos días. Lo voy a tener acá. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that que Bukele ya tenía planeado con otro país, no sé. Que lo iban a agarrar en Panamá. I don't know how they knew, but Funes was going to travel to Panama, maybe to get some money or something. And there the Interpol was going to get him. So in the chat, you see that. You see el diciendo, jefe, mire. Si va a ir a Panamá, tal banco no vaya. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I imagine Bukele is very angry. <laughs> What's his name again? I will keep yeah, for this. <laughs> Alejandro Mason. Pero Mason is much don't. Así como se escribe el apellido de ellos. All right. Much don't. Uh, so, y la razón que le mencioné eso es porque es lo contrario de looking forward to. <laughs> He he is not looking forward to la fecha. Now I am looking forward to what's gonna happen. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I okay, for example, listen, when something bad happens in the when the politics here, como hey, ya pusieron orden captura para tal, the country is looking forward to the news. Por el chime. Yeah. So everybody goes on Twitter. Ya lo agarraron. Oh, oh no. Okay. So everybody goes on YouTube. Alcalde. Orden captura para alcalde. Híjole, hoy sí. Eh. Oh, ya la regó. Oh, ya la regó. So everybody's looking forward to the news. You know, so yeah, I, I am one. When, when this happened with Mason, me quedé, ooh. Si se una novela como de una semana, like. You know, every day I, I was I was looking forward to different news, you know, like, oh, man. And then the next day, mass chats revelados. Oh, my God. And then the next day, <laughs> Alejandro Mason arrested <coughs> every day, every Forest day. Beach. And then suddenly, and then suddenly no more news. It's like, oh, shit. You know, they hang out like, oh, come on, man. Give me more. Give me more. <laughs> I want to know what's next. Yes. <laughs> it's good that she's mesito, le va a decir. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I think I think this Alejandro Mason is going to be a very special case. He, I mean, I think he's going to jail forever. <laughs> and, um, pero he's going to a special jail. I don't know if it's a god, maximum security. With TV, maybe. No, no, nothing. I think, I think maybe they will have. No, because look, they need him alive. Se necesitan vivo, porque saben que el castigo de él es manteniéndolo vivo, because. Like in the United States, cuando alguien es así, les quitan los todo. Oh. La ropa y todo para que no se pueda ahorcar o nada, porque él ya no tiene escapatoria. He is in trouble. Como en Estados Unidos, a los, a los que son considerados traidores y todo, los mandan a Guantánamo. ¿Guantánamo still exists? Yeah, supposedly. And um, they torture them y todo. But you know what? In the case of San Simpatizante or not, this man was very stupid. Yeah. 
He was very, very stupid. Puede haber sido para el frente, para arena, whatever, pero la posición que él tenía y lo que él hizo was very stupid. Yeah. He was a stupid Judas. Yes, stupid Judas. <coughs> okay, next, cut down on. What do you think is cut down on? No, I don't know. Uh, can, can, can an enterprise can say we have to come down the personal or, or not? No, uh, cut down on. Okay, in this case, Irma and, and, and Edgar, in this case, can, uh, cut down on is only for objects, not for people. Uh, okay. Cut down on is like, como decirle, hey, le tenés que bajar al. This is something similar that a doctor would tell you. When you go to the doctor and the doctor mm -hmm. says, hey man, you need to cut down on carbohydrates. You need to cut down on sugar. You need oh. to. <laughs> so what is cut down? Reduce. Oh. Yes, reduce. Mm -hmm. Like me, I have a problem right now. Remember I told you that I bought a machine to do exercise? Would you like to drink? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know you know those walking machines in, in, in the gym? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have seen. So, I am addicted. Yo soy adicto a las tiendas de empeño. No empeño. I like to buy there. Because, for example, I, I like cameras. And one day, I saw a camera. And there was a Canon T T7. That camera is really like... Nine hundred dollars. Wow! And I, I mean, if I buy it and, and graph for something, nine hundred dollars. And when I saw it there, it said three hundred fifty dollars. What? So I walk in and three hundred fifty. Sí, me y la puede apartar en tres meses. La termina pagar, se la entrega sin interés. I'm like, really? Yeah, la quiere probar. Yeah. So I, how much is this? $350. So, mire, solo deja el 10% de, de prima y cada mes paga lo, lo que sobra en dividido en tres partes. I bought it, beautiful camera, I'm happy. That was like seven years ago. Mm -hmm. After that, yeah. man, he comprado telephones, TVs, computers, everything from them. So one day, yeah. It, it, pero es una cosa que les recomiendo si van a hacer eso. Ustedes han oído el Black Friday, que hay gente que dice que es caro y hay gente que dice que no. Yes. yes. Yo realmente creo que Black Friday sí ponen buenas ofertas, pero si uno sabe lo que está comprando. Mm. Yeah. Yes. For example, me in this case, I saw the camera. I saw the camera in $350 and I know that camera is around $800, $900. So yes, it was a good, good deal. Yeah. Um, <coughs> when you, I remember in, in Black Friday, if you go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. If I go mm -hmm. to the electronic section and I see, for example, wireless keyboards and wireless mouse y todo for $8.99, yes, Logitech, wow, yes, it wouldn't, it, it's a good deal because I know that that's like around $25 or $30 normally. Pero si me mandan a comprar cortinas, no sé cuánto valen las cortinas, to be honest. 
So I don't know if they are good or not. So that's that's what I tell people. So yes, some some offers are good if you know what you're buying. Igual a esas tiendas de empeño hay cosas que dan también caras. Uh -huh. Yo he pasado a otras y he visto unas cámaras ahí con no man, esa cámara no vale eso. Vaya, lo que digo, ya, yo compré una T7 y a veces tienen una T2 que es como 12 años antes. En $500. Like, no. oh. You know. O sea, so, so what I'm saying is that um, one day I was passing and I saw an exercise machine. Pero son de esas, like, the, 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 but like the real professional ones, like the big ones. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> they had it for $300 so I bought it also I bought it in three months I paid it paid, paid and one day I was passing with my wife we were passing by Simon and we saw the exact same machine everything exactly and in Simon it was at $1,600 oh really that machine yes so I told my wife, hey, la vendemos. <laughs> and my wife, no, 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 because we're very happy with the machine. Like, <laughs> But the reason, la razón que le digo eso is because after I started using that machine, I don't know why I feel the need for chocolate. <laughs> so, right. yes, I am. I, I didn't, you know. No, recently I am eating a lot of candy and I don't, I don't really eat candy. So I am eating mm. a lot of Hershey's and, you know, Hershey's are so delicious. yes, but you know, everybody likes Hershey's, but really I am eating too much candy. So I need to cut down on candies. So maybe it's my body reacting como. Like to a new, because you know, when you finish exercising for one hour, you have feeling. You have a deficit or of, of something like a bit of a vitamin or something like that. Yes. I was uh, watching a video about that today. Uh, when you have need from uh, sugar things or, or you have a taste of, iron on, on your mouth and thing like and things like that oh really yeah i will send to you please do because i i just recently noticed that in me that a i am eating too much candies and i like candies but really i never i say i like candy if i see it in my house hey oh. but i never buy candy and now i go to a gas station i want can i want chocolate mm -hmm. I go to the supermarket, I want chocolate, I want candy, I want candy. Why am I eating too much candy? But after I started doing exercise. So hmm, that's interesting. Yes. I was looking for it and, and I will send it to you. Oh yes, because uh -huh, I, I because I want to cut down on candy. So right. like so listen, cut down is reduce, not stop. All right. Yes. So, and, and this is, this is something typical que un doctor le dice, hey, mira, hay que bajarle a las pupusas, hay que bajarle a, al pan, hay que bajarle a, pero le está diciendo, coma menos. Mm -hmm. So that's similar to say, cut down on. Cut down. <coughs> okay, next we have keep up with. I don't know what is the thing you feel. Okay. My wife is in good physical condition. When she got that machine, my wife actually runs. She walks 20 minutes and then she starts running in the machine. Yo, no, man. I just walk. Quizá le subo la velocidad, yes, but I only walk. Maybe in one or two months, I will run. So I tell my wife, no, I can't keep up with you. 
What do you think is keep up with you? Keep up to be to be in that level okay to be in that level i'm going to get let me give you a, a maybe a stupid example okay have you ever seen have you ever seen usually men that you drink beer you know you're drinking one beer and then your friend and okay, no se toma una, your friend has drunk five. Mm -hmm. And your friend tells you, come on, man, toma más. And no, man, I, I can't keep up with you. So you drink too fast. I don't like to drink too fast. To be in the same level. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. So what, what do you think keep up with this? No puedo seguirte. Como, no puedo, ¿ah? Como no puedo seguir el ritmo. Exactly, ah. el ritmo, yes. El ritmo. No, puedo ir, no puedo ir a tu ritmo. Mm -hmm. I think that would be yeah. the best. Uh, like I'm telling you, my wife uh, empieza like, you know, she walks 10 minutes y de repente, boom, 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 she's running. Yo, oh. I can't keep up with you. I, yo feliz que camine media hora, man. I can barely walk. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm. I'm very happy that you know my wife. Hey, did you do exercise today? Yes, I walked thirty minutes. Ah, caminaste treinta y cuántos corriste? No, I only walked thirty minutes. <laughs> and you? And my wife. Oh, I walked. I walked twenty minutes and I ran forty minutes. What? Maldita. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's keep up with. Now, next is put up with. Put, put up with. Put something. Put up with is soportar. Mm -hmm. Tolerate. Let me give you an example. Irma, Susana, uh, everybody who works. Mm -hmm. Irma, imagine you have a very strict boss. Okay, ni modo. People are strict. Pero dentro de la ley, ni modo. He is strict. He is angry. Pero one day viene su jefe y le dice, mira, Irma, venga aquí. Vaya, mire, mi amorcito. Aquí lo que me va a hacer es esto. Quiero que me lo haga así. And then you say, no, 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 no. Excuse me. I can't put up with you being strict. Okay. But I will not put up with you calling me amorcito. Never mind. O sea, usted le dijo, mire, yo puedo... Pasar que usted sea estricto, enojado, me regañe, ok, pero no le voy a pasar que me trate así, de amorcito, o, o que me toque, or something. You understand? Y quizás no lo hizo mala intención o nada, pero, eh, you know, y es cierto, él no lo tiene que hacer. <laughs> you can't say amorcito in a job. You can't touch people in a job. So that is put up with. All right. I can't put up with. Yeah. I don't like I don't like going to reunions because I can't put up with reggaeton music. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and now next we have get along with. Llevarse bien con. Do you get along with your ex? Yes. I have one ex. I get along with. Me too. I get along with my ex. We're not friends. But we're not enemies. Thank you, girl. <laughs> so we get along in the way. Hi, hi. You know, sometimes she calls me. She needs a favor. Hey, David, mira. ¿Por qué se dice así? No, sí. Oh, because of this. Oh, okay, good. But, you know, we get along. There is a limit, pero. 
get along. Some people don't get along. Hey, some people don't get along with your husband or with your wife. Hay gente que ni se lleva bien con uno mismo. <laughs> okay, and now next is take care of. Irma needs to work in her home because she needs to take care of her dogs. Yeah. Oh, I saw the pictures today. Thank you. I will send them. <laughs> Thank you. I will send them to a friend that she's always posting dogs for adoption. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope to find a good place for them. Good. Yes. If, yeah. Are they, are they female or male? Female. They the, both. the three are female. No, no, the the third one, the third one that you can see in the left right in the left side on the photo is is male. Okay. And it's not for adoption. He's my dog. Okay, he's yours. Okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, so let's take care of cuidar. Take care of it. Your obligation is to take care of your children or people you love. My wife always tells me, do you love me? Of course I love you. She says, why? Because my obligation is to live for you and my son and take care of you and my son. Oh, that's romantic. <laughs> no, I, you know, I don't know why. For me, that's, 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 I think that's the only, the only, um, my only meaning in life. Mi único, okay? Propósito en la vida is, is to take care of my wife and my son forever. Until I can. Me gustaría cuidar a los hijos de Shakira también, si, si necesitan a father, you know. You know, I, I can negotiate oh, with... Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I can negotiate with Shakira, you know. <laughs> I don't think that your wife can uh, put up with your idea. Hey, very good. You know, my wife asked, how did you come up with that idea? Oh, because imagine I tell Shakira, give me your two children and pay me what? $20 million a year? <laughs> I think my wife will like the idea. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, class, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. We'll practice more phrase thank overs, you. okay? Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Send me that info, Susan. Bye. All right, I will look.